again. It was in the mid of March that we went to Pulau Ubin for a day trip getaway, since we were not able to travel abroad. Pulau Ubin is an island in the northeast of Singapore. Actually, it feels like traveling abroad, since we need to catch a boat ride to reach the small island. We drove to Changi Point Ferry Terminal and park at multi-storey car park just right in front of the hawker centre. I didn't realise that they have built a new multi-storey car park now. If you are coming by public transport, then take the MRT to Tanah Merah MRT station, then board bus number 2 to Changi Village Bus Interchange. Changi Poi Jetty is not far from the bus interchange. The bum boat that brings you to Pulau Ubin costs $3 per person for a single trip and it takes about 15 minutes. If you are bringing in your own bike over to Pulau Ubin, you need to pay an additional $2. There are no fixed departure time. The owner of the bum boat will wait for the number of people to fill up, then just depart. Before depart, he will collect the money from you. There are a number of things to do in Ubin, and the number one favorite is rent a bike to explore the island. If you can't cycle, then you can still hire a minivan to explore. If you are a group of people that don't prefer to walk and cycle, then hire a minivan. The minivan can sit up to 12 people. Well, we love cycling in Ubin, and this is not the first time exploring the island with a bike. There are a few rental bike shops near the jetty. The rental cost is about $6 to $10 as it depends on the size and what type of bike you rent. There is no limit to the timing. Best is to return before sunset. Ubin is actually coming from the name Batu Jubin, which means granite stone in Malay. Over here in Ubin Island, you'll find the granite quarries that is no longer active. On the way to check Jawa wetlands, we saw kampung housing and met wild animals such as monkeys and wild balls walking around freely. The number one thing to note is not to feed these animals when you see them. Once you started to feed them, they get very agitated and will be in their attack mode, which can be dangerous. Also, human food is not healthy for wild animals. You should also go spot the giant tree in Ubin. Chek Jawa wetland would be one of my favorite spots in Ubin. After cycling for 20 minutes, you will reach Chek Jawa. 
It is a unique area with six major ecosystems Sandy Beach, Rocky Beach, Seagrass Lagoon, Coral Rubble, Mangroves, and Coastal Forest Meat. The number one thing to note is to refer to the tides table when you plan a visit to avoid disappointment. The viewing jetty on the sea is lovely to walk and check on those sea animals during low tide. Don't forget to check on the mangrove trees nearby. The 20 meter tall Jejawi Tower is near Chek Jawa Wetland. You should climb up to the top and check on the panoramic view of the Chek Jawa Wetlands. The brick house stands out from any other kampong housing in Ubin. It is like the English cottage style and it is named House No. 1. It was built in 1930s by an Englishman as a holiday house. Now, it is used as a visitor centre and don't forget to use the bathroom which is located right outside the house No. 1. As mentioned, Ubin used to be the quarry that was in operation in the 1970s, but no longer active. Now, it is a beautiful lake with lush greenery and thick vegetation surrounding the site. Pekan Quarry is at the other end of Ubin Island, the opposite direction of Chek Jawa wetlands, so it has quite a distance to reach. There are a few eateries near the jetty when you reach Ubin. There is one seafood restaurant that is quite popular, but I find the food is just average. I've been there several times and each time I dine in there, I find the steamed rice is hard and dried. If you're on a budget, go to the other noodle stores instead. Some other tips for you. Bring along a raincoat, as it may rain anytime. Bring along sunblock, wear long sleeves, and insect repellent. Spray a generous amount of insect repellent to your body, as the mosquitoes here are very fierce. Bring along water and some snacks. Do remember to bring a cap to cover your head.